Hey guys, it's Merrick Running with PT to Go for Moms, and today we're here to talk about how to move well in pregnancy. There are so many changes going on in your body that it's important to move well to keep you out of pain throughout your pregnancy. And the first place we want to start is sleeping. Now, your provider is probably telling you at 20 weeks that they want you staying off of your back, um, so you're going to have to figure out a variety of sleeping positions to keep you sleeping well. So we'll walk through a few um, options for you to try. And you know, just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna put some additional towel rolls in. This may or may not be necessary for you, but um, all I've done is taken two uh, washcloths and folded them lengthwise twice into a nice kind of hot dog shape. So in sideline, the first roll that we're gonna use is a hip roll. So you really want that place kind of right at your belt line to give some nice support right through that pelvic ring. So go ahead and lay on your side for me. And the second one is going to be right at the cervical spine. Okay, so this hip roll here is nice because um, what you can experience in side line is actually being placed in a little bit of a side bend, so it takes you out of the neutral spine. So that hip roll actually pulls you up a little bit more into neutral. Again, may or may not be necessary for you. It's something to play with. The neck roll, the cervical neck roll, is nice, again, to keep that neck in neutral. Um, if you're having some neck pain in pregnancy, certainly look at your pillow options um, and add in the neck roll to keep you um, nice and lined up if needed. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about lots of pillows. So the first pillow that we want to place is between the knees and the ankles. So uh, it's important to support the ankle because if not, we can actually still have some pain at the hip. So there are some pain, uh, excuse me, some pregnancy pillows out there uh, that you can purchase, but a lot of them don't really support the ankle. So just watch for that if you're online looking. Um, that's an important piece there. Second pillow is we're gonna place under the tummy. So I'm gonna have to roll backwards just a little. And we're gonna sneak that pillow under the tummy to give nice support to the belly. And then last pillow, um, this is something you can play with. You may or may not need this um, at the beginning as well, but we're actually gonna put this behind her. So we're gonna actually have her roll forward. We're gonna sneak this and tuck it in behind her. And then she can roll backwards and do about a quarter of a turn back. So that way she's not directly on her hip, but she's not on her back. And so it's a nice way to offset some of that pressure through the hip. So what we wanna do is stay nice and neutral and symmetrical. So we want symmetry in the legs, symmetry in the arms um, to keep you just out of pain. So now we are sleeping comfortably on our side and now we have to roll to the other side. So rolling in bed is uh, a time that can be really painful if we're not careful. It can cause some pubic joint pain or some real ligament pain. So um, one really important piece is we're going to keep our knees together. So she's going to gently squeeze that pillow as she rolls, and what she's gonna focus on doing is keeping her body as one unit or a log roll. So she's gonna roll shoulders and hips at the same time while kind of squeezing on that pillow, sneaking her hips over, perfect. And then she's gonna offset her hips again, so sneaking a little bit more over to the side, and then she's gonna roll shoulders and hips together as one unit to the other side. So in doing that, you're keeping nice protection to that pubic joint, to the round ligament, because we're getting some nice adductor squeeze and pelvic floor engagement to keep those points protected. So picking up a car seat is an important daily activity that we need to do correctly to protect your back, whether you're pregnant or in the postpartum chapter. So a couple options to do this, you're gonna approach the car seat perpendicularly. So you're gonna get close. You're gonna take a wide stance and toe out just a little bit. And as you go to pick up the car seat, we're gonna go into a nice squat, keeping neutral wrap one arm through and support with opposite arm and immediately bring that car seat close to your body. Okay, so let's go ahead and practice that. So nice squat, wrap arm through and immediately bring close to body. Perfect, and then to set it down, just to reverse. Go ahead and squat, good, and release. Nice. So let's practice that just one more time. Nice big squat, wrap arm through, support, and bring close to body. Perfect, and then go ahead and set it back down. Another important piece as you're doing something that's weighted like this is to breathe through your own movement so that you're not um, stressing your spine by holding your breath. 
Another approach to the car seat is actually facing the car seat from parallel. So you can take a nice stride, uh, lunge forward, and you're going to uh, wrap one arm underneath the car seat. Opposite arm is going to support the leg as you push to stand up into a lunge. Perform your lunge. So another piece of equipment that we have to reach for um, throughout the day is something like a diaper bag. So um, an alternative to doing like a deep squat is what's called a golfer's swing. So this is where you approach that car, um, diaper bag, and as you're reaching for the diaper bag, you're going to offset your weight by kicking out the leg. So in doing that, you're keeping nice neutral spine, and you're allowing your body to lower down without stressing your back. So another place to move well is getting in and out of the car. So in our makeshift car here, driver's side, to go from uh, sitting to standing in the car, what you're gonna do is actually, while sitting, it's turn to face out of the car door. Perfect. One hand's gonna stay on the seat, one hand's gonna be on the car frame, and you can use your arms to push out. Perfect, so we're keeping nice neutral spine here without bending and twisting. Now to get in the car, we're gonna just do the reverse. So she's gonna reach back for that car seat, other arm on the frame, lower herself in, and then she's gonna turn her body um, to face the wheel.